Yo, what up, what up? It's your boy Wiz Khalifa, man, right here with Saturday Night Online. And since my album, Rolling Papers, is coming out March 29th, I'm taking some questions from you, the Taylors, the Taylor gang, the fans. And um, I'm just going to answer them, so here we go. First question comes from Jessica from, I don't know how to pronounce this, Renoki, Virginia? I don't know. Roanoke. Roanoke? Roanoke. Oh, okay. Yeah. Jessica from Roanoke, Virginia asks, when did you know you wanted to make a, uh, make music for a living? Um, I knew I wanted to make music for a living uh, probably when I was in like 11th grade, you know. I always knew that I wanted to make it and just be, ha have fun making music. But then when I started getting paid for music, like doing shows and things like that, that's what really made me be like, okay, so this is the only thing that I want to do. And um, I stuck with it since then. And now it's to the point where, you know, uh, I'm making music and I'm making a living off of it. So it's pretty tight. Thanks, Jessica. Um, next question is Danielle from Toledo, Ohio. <clears throat> How was your time spent in the studio with Chris Brown? Um, well, other than making great music, we just chill. We talked about, you know, each other's movement. Um, I found out that he's a real big fan of, you know, what I do. Um, of course, I set the fire alarm off in there. I'm not going to tell you how. Um, and, yeah, it was awesome, man. I, I stayed there for a couple hours and just seen him create. And then I got to work with him. And, uh, you know, that song's on the album. And me and Chris are going to do some more work together as well. Um, Allison from Detroit, Michigan says, are you working with Snoop Dogg currently? And what are you working on? Yeah, I am working with Snoop Dogg right now. Um, I've been working with Snoop since about December of um, 2010. That's when I first really met him and, you know, just got to chill with him. And we're actually making a movie. It's called High School. Um, that should be dropping pretty soon. Um, you know, as soon as we get done with it and get everything together. There's going to be a soundtrack to that as well. So it's going to be a movie and 15 tracks of me and Snoop Dogg, which should be crazy for you guys to bake up to, man. Uh, I hope everybody enjoys it because, you know, I'm having a great time making it. And Snoop is like, you know, he's a great, he's a pioneer in the game. So, you know, what better individual to embrace me and for us to, you know, get to this point. Um, Ashley from Omaha, Nebraska says, what was your favorite music growing up? Uh, my favorite music, I always listen to different types of music, uh, rap music, pop music, rock music. But my favorite stuff growing up was definitely uh, Bone Thugs on Harmony. That was my all time favorite group. Out of anybody and everybody, they were like, you know, my, you know, just my favorite, just how they reached to me, you know what I'm saying, and the music that they made, the albums that they put out, man, that was my, you know, that's really what I identify with. Katie from Philadelphia, Pennsylvania, uh, asks, what's the best advice you've ever gotten? Um, the best advice I've ever gotten is to work for yourself and to make your money work for yourself or make your money work for you, which means to, you know, what was that? Which, which basically means to, um, you know, always have your own best interest in mind and take the initiative to step up and do things for yourself that you're not sitting around waiting for people to do for you. You know, that's really important and that's what pays off in the end and get you to the point, you know, where people start to acknowledge you and, and see what you're doing. Christina from Orlando, Florida said, what collaborations can we expect from you in the near future? Um, I really don't like giving that stuff away as far as collaborations. I like it to be a surprise, you know, to really just catch people off guard. And especially with me, like working with Snoop and, you know, the big people that I've been focused on, you know, trying to work with. Um, you know, the collaborations that, that could come out of the woodwork now are just, you know, they're endless. And um, I'm really just being careful about how, who I pick and choose you know, to do work with and, and, you know, really expand and share the sound. Jamie from Evansville, Indiana says, what's your favorite thing to do when you're not doing music? Um, I say my favorite thing to do when I'm not doing music is to watch movies or, you know, just watch TV and just like chill out and really like absorb all of that and like really get into like another world, you know, that's not my reality. You know what I'm saying? Because that could be fun at times, too. It's like sort of like a release just to get away and just to chill out, you know? So I like to watch a lot of movies. <clears throat> Ariana from Birmingham, Alabama says, How does it feel to be Wiz Khalifa? Excellent. 
Robbie from Missoula, Montana says, who is someone you haven't collaborated with yet that you would like to? Um, I would definitely like to work with Max B. Um, that would be tight. Uh, Twista, that would be somebody tight to work with. There's a lot of different artists that I look up to and that I respect, you know, and um, something could come out of the cut too, you know, that surprises me. So that would be a good opportunity. So there's no telling. Nikki from Philadelphia, PA says, what is your favorite munchie food? Funyuns. I love Funyuns. Um, if I could get a check from Funyuns or like a bag of Funyuns every time I say Funyuns, that would be cool. <laughs> Sabrina from Tucson, Arizona said, if you were only allowed to listen to one album for the rest of your life, what would it be? The album, the one album that I'll probably listen to for the rest of my life, if it was only one album, would probably be Equimini by Outkast, because it's just like a great album, front to back. Um, yeah, it's it's there's nothing that sounds like it. And you can listen to the whole thing and just get so much stuff from it, you know what I'm saying? Um, it's a great album to like ride to, so yeah, Equimini would probably be my favorite. Dana from Baton Rouge, Louisiana says, what's your favorite part about rolling papers? says, what's your favorite part about Rolling Papers? Um, my favorite part about it is, you know, just having it be my first project, my first album, and really, really giving it up to the world and just being excited about people getting this music, you know? Kelly from Lebanon, New Hampshire said, "Where did when did you write Black and Yellow? I wrote Black and Yellow in New York um, probably about, like, two, no, not two years ago. Like, no, it was last summer, yeah. I wrote Black and Yellow last summer, so a year ago. <laughs> mm. Ramina from Lubbock, Texas says what will be your next single after Roll Up you gotta get the album and see and that's the perfect way to end this <laughs> because the next single is called Roll Up the video is gonna be available really soon and the album's called Rolling Papers it'll be available March 29th so make sure you cop that March 29th or pre-order it on WizKhalifa.com and thanks for sending in your fan questions and letting me sit here and answer them, man. It's your boy Wiz Khalifa right here on Saturday Night Online. You feel me?